Hey guys, this is the Dark Passenger, just here to review Joyride 2. This movie came out in 2008, and it's basically about these... Well, basically the kind of similar thing to the first one, only, you know, we've got this girl who, you know, she's engaged, and they're on on the way with, with this girl's sister to Vegas to have a bachelor better bachelorette party or some shit and then they their car breaks down they end up stumbling across uh, rusty nails house and they end up fucking stealing his car yeah that was a smart thing to do and then basically rusty nail comes home he finds out you know before that this fucking stupid bitch leaves a leaves a number behind and he basically and Rusty Nail basically gets a hold of her after that, after he finds out that they broke into his house and took his fucking car and just starts to, you know, <coughs> fuck with, with her and her friends pretty much. With her, her sister and, you know, her fiancé, her, and her sister's boyfriend, yeah, because her sister's boyfriend is in this as well. And basically, in this movie, like it's a kind of a similar thing to Candy Cane. I mean, you've got it's Goldilocks, like so. You know, that is just fucking stupid. You kind of um, rip off what was in the first one, but only it's slightly fucking different. And, you know, this movie, I mean, it's not even that good, in my opinion. I mean, it's got some good kills. I mean, I guess it's alright for the kills, but, and, you know, what Rusty Nail does and shit, but that's about it. And I, I still, you know, I like the fact how his face is still kind of, you know, covered up, it's kind of in the shadows, and the acting is shit in this movie. I mean, it's so bad, really bad, I mean... I don't even want to get into it. It's just ugh, bad. Not really just crappy acting. And sure, I mean, Rusty Rusty Nail is even meaner. He's more brutal. He's more violent. He actually kills in this. But that doesn't make it better. I mean, and they also changed the actor that plays Rusty Nail. I don't know who the fuck he is, but he is not as good as the guy in the first one. I mean, I'm not too sure who did the voice of Rusty Nail in the first one. Uh, it sounds like that guy from Hills Have Eyes in the first one, you know, Ted, Ted Levine or something. It does sound like him a little bit, but, I'm, but I don't know if it was him. Maybe, maybe not. Kind of sounds like, you know, the guy who played Buffalo Bill and Sansa and Lambs, yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, you know, you can also tell that it's a shitty voice. I mean, Rusty Nail's voice in this is shitty. I mean, I do not, I cannot stand his voice. I, you know, in the first one, his voice was creepy. I mean, you can tell it was creepy, but in this, in this, it's not. It's just shit, and like, all of a sudden, there was something else, I mean, in the first one, I'm not too sure if Rusty Nail was like a smoker or not, but all of a sudden, in the fucking second one, they do show him smoking. I just don't get that, like, what is the point of adding something that stupid to a movie? Well, to that, I mean, 
that adds nothing to his character. He's just a crazy truck driver on the road. And basically, you know, Rusty Nail apparently in this was planning to fucking get off the road and just kind of rest for a while at home, but them stealing his car kind of forced them to get back on the road and just go after them. I just do not look like this. I do not like this movie. Yeah, I just don't. In this, we have this character, you know. It's um, the main girl's sister's boyfriend or some shit. He looks like a fucking girl. He looks like a faggot, honestly. There is one scene in this movie that's really fucking stupid. He, he goes, he he's forced to dress up like a tranny because, you know, Rusty Nail asks that, you know, asks, Asks him to do that, to get him some crack or something, some speed, whatever the fuck you call it. And he ends up going through this trucker camp or some shit. And Rusty Nail's there and he kidnaps him. He kidnaps the guy and they... And after that they go, you know, they're at his house tied up in chairs fucking playing one of Rusty Nail's sick little games. And that scene is shit in my opinion. It's stupid. I mean, this whole movie just is stupid. It's This sequel was just really lame, not as good as the first one at all. And it felt, it did feel a bit forced and unneeded to, to be completely honest because, I mean, they could have just, you know, stayed with the joyride, you know, the first joyride. They didn't have to make this fucking joyride 2. They didn't even, they definitely didn't need to make joyride, joyride 3, for sure. You know, I'm gonna get to that one another time, but joyride 2, definitely unneeded because there's no continuity here. There is no continuity because, like, Joy. Okay, well, the second one is after the first one. I I know I get that, but it's like there's no mentions of what there was in the first one at all. Nothing was mentioned there in this movie. I mean, it's got nothing to do with the first one at all. So the sequel was just to you know. A cash crab, pretty much, just to get some more money. It's a cash in on this name, of, you know, on this joyride name. It's a cash in on the fucking, on the fucking rusty nail. <sighs> yeah, it's just unneeded. I well, if you like the first one, I guess I'd say give it a shot. If you've never seen it, but if you have seen it, you would know what I'm talking about, maybe. So, yeah, that's pretty much all i got to say on this. Thanks for listening. Subscribe. Stay tuned for more reviews. You know, stay tuned for my review of Joyride 3 coming soon. Peace.